Hello, faithful friends of the internet. I'm Jason Mayfield. And I like to do dramatic head turns here on Tear Up Your Bible Tools. Tear Up Your Bible is a lot more than pens and highlighters and Bible reviews and all of that stuff. It's a movement, baby. It's a movement. That being said, I'd love to invite you to be a part of that movement over at tearupyourbible.com. And you are formally invited to join us in our Facebook group. It's the Tear Up Your Bible Facebook group. Everything that we do in today's video will be done in the Test and Demonstration Bible. It amazes me how concerned some people get that I'm destroying a Bible over here in these reviews. Today we're looking at a highlighter that I am actually very interested in and I'm, I am really curious to know if this is going to solve a problem for me. We're going to be looking at the Sharpie Clear View highlighters and I will tell you why I'm interested in these in a moment, but I'm noticing on the back here that you have two options. You could get the stick or you could get the tank and the tank has a thick nip. It's got a thick nip. <laughs> All right, so let's crack these open, talk about them. No, come back. So we're gonna evaluate these highlighters off of my basic criteria, which is smear, color, ghosting bleed, ease of use, and price. But before we do that, I, I just wanna go ahead and hop in and talk about ease of use for a moment, okay? So with these, you are gonna have your lid. Now, I'm not a fan of lids. I prefer things that are retractable because it, they're easier to use. Granted, a lot of my stuff ends up being uh, with lids just because that's the nature of that's the nature of life people put lids on things but if you look at this highlighter this is the ease of use deal and this is the thing that i'm excited about if you can see there's a the nib on this bad boy is clear so in theory you're supposed to be able to highlight and see oh my gosh you can that is so cool you can actually see behind your nib. But I don't know if you're like me, man. When I'm highlighting with highlighters, I'm that guy that highlights the sentence and the first two words of the next sentence because I can't see where to stop going. And I've tried reverse highlighting. That doesn't work at all, okay? So with this, you can actually see, man, we got to get in here. I got to show you this. So look right here. So if I'm over daughter, if I'm coming up on daughter, you can see daughter behind it. So we'll go ahead and do a green highlight and I'm gonna stop at Zion. Bam, bam, cause I could see it, son. Oh man, that is so cool because see when I'm right there, you see Zion. Oh my goodness, these are awesome. In this respect, there's a lot of other stuff we gotta check out. So let's go, let's go do that right now. Okay, so first thing we need to check for is the smear. Shunk. Mm. Hey, I think we're in business on this smear. Yeah, yeah, this white, this mega passes the smear test. Funk. Which, by the way, I'll say I've used Sharpie accent highlighters for a long time. Those are the highlighters I've used for the longest. I don't have them in my normal repertoire of pins right now, though these are probably going in there. And uh, anytime they have the smear guard on there, man, the smear guard, I trust that smear guard because it, it's not an actual guard, but it that's what they call it. And it works really, I, I never have problems with them. So for a long time, I've been able to trust Sharpies. All right, let's look at the color. Boom, bada bing, bada boom. I'm very happy with these colors. Um, obviously this one right here, I'm not using, but I'm very happy with these colors. They look very good on the paper. In terms of ghosting and bleed, you're dealing with the same thing that you're normally dealing with, with this stuff. I mean, it's normal bleed. These work really good. I got in on that blue pretty good, and you can see there's maybe a couple of little spots there, but nothing super consequential. Let's return to ease of use for a minute, because there is one thing about these that is a problem for me. And that is that there's no red. No red is no good. But 
Um, with purple in my personal pin set, I kind of got some different purple things going on from other colors. So having some different red things going on from other colors, no big deal. So I'll still use these, but if I was looking for one set to use, there's no, no red. And then in terms of price, they're $12. So these are super affordable. This is a game changer feature right here. I mean, the fact that I can see you right now, there you are, but I'm serious for real. Like this is, this is awesome. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy with these. I think these would be a great highlighter for you to take a, take a chance on. So the question of the day is, do you have trouble stopping in the right place when you're highlighting? Drop that in the comments. Let me know if you're like me, where you're getting the whole sentence, maybe a couple of extra words for good measure. Until next time, I'm praying that you continue to experience grace for life through Jesus Christ. Go tear up those Bibles and I'll see you in the next video.